Discover 3D is an application built on the Discover module for MapInfo Professional. This video briefly demonstrates the simplicity of selecting drill data for viewing, drawing, and interrogating in 3D. We will begin our demonstration in MapInfo 951. Here we have a view of drill callers from which we will select callers of interest to view in 3D. We will use the Polygon Select tool. Then, in the Discover menu, we can confirm the holes we have selected and they will automatically be sent to the Discover 3D window. In the Workspace pane of the Discover 3D window, we can select the Drill Hole Property box by double-clicking the item in the Workspace tree. The Drill Hole Properties box appears. Drill holes may be added, removed from view, data fields may be determined, and color tables selected. Here we will theme the lithology with a previously created legend from our Discover Drill Hole project. We can determine the type of display for the holes and modulate thickness. We will apply the default end of hole labels and add the hole ID as well. We will spin the view by holding down the left mouse button to one side of the axis with the 3D Fast View enabled. Next, we will activate the cosmetic layer where we can draw objects in 3D. Note the plane highlighted in this orientation. We can quickly change the cursor plane orientation and select a section. This can be edited quickly using the arrow keys and page up, page down on the keyboard. There is also a tool to switch the view perpendicular to the resulting plane. We will now draw a basic object following the drilling in this section. Note you can select an envelope section as will be demonstrated later. This object will be placed in this case in an edible cosmetic layer. You can see as we navigate the view the section and object orientation. Again, I am holding down the left mouse button while dragging the cursor around the axis to manipulate the view. In this example, we can draw in section in a horizontal plane and create a solid. To allow for a faster demonstration, we will begin closer to the end of hole and work our way up in 20 meter sections. I will use page up on the keyboard to move through the section planes, double clicking to end each object before moving to the next section. For a more accurate model, it will be desirable to repeat this step on more frequent sections. Our drawing is complete and we can view our results by selecting the 3D Navigator tool. Now we will create our solid using the Solid Generator tool. In the tool we will select the cosmetic layer where we digitized our boundaries. For more advanced models we could create tie lines in a separate layer to control the joining of objects. Other options are available for end capping and surface color. Note the output window at the bottom of the box. If we click apply we can preview our resulting object. Let's take a look in the 3D window where we can edit things like opacity and color. This object can be moved and its nodes edited in 3D. For now we will smooth the surface and increase opacity.
Let's take a quick look at some sections. Here we want to have envelope sections. This can be edited for thickness and orientation in the cursor plan, plan properties. You could see where we could increase our sections to improve the output. Here you will see how to interrogate downhole data. In Discover 3D, we can use the Select tool to touch on data in 3D. First, we make the drill holes browsable and selectable. We must also have the information sheet open. You can do this quickly by clicking on the italicized I in the toolbar. By right-clicking the information sheet, columns can be selected for viewing. This can be done for line and point data as well as for drilling. As we move the cursor down hole across the intervals, we can see its corresponding highlighted field in the data view. Finally, let's look at editing intersecting objects. Once selected as editable, we can select the object to be edited and hitting the control key click on the second object. In this example, we will select the erase function. This can be done to split objects with faults or surfaces and other interpreted objects. This operation can be for performed on objects imported to the same feature database. We will clear the result from the cosmetic layer and reset the view for our second example. In this example, we will erase everything outside the intersection of the two objects. In addition to these tools, object vertices and positions may be edited. For more information or a demonstration, give us a call or send us an email.